Joomla. Nutshell. Hello, this is Elijah Clark here with the Joomla Nutshell.com. Uh, what I want to show you here today is actually how to edit the template for Joomla 1.6. Now, currently, this is the template that's uh, the default for the site. So I have this set up here as you can take a look. Now, say if I just want to change these colors or change some things about this template. So I'm just going to first show you how to change the colors or and edit, and, uh, edit the CSS content and HTML content. Uh, so what I need to do first, I actually need to log into the back end of the website, which is going to be yourwebsite.com slash administrator. Now, once I'm logged in there, it'll actually take me directly to the control panel. And on the control panel, as you can see, there's many tools here. And one that you can click is called the Template Manager, which is on the bottom left side. Or I can just go under Extensions and then go to Template Manager from there. Now, on this page, it actually shows, it's going to go to Styles first and actually show me the different styles of the uh, templates. As I can see now, this is the default template for the administrative port part of the website, which is what we're currently looking at, this template here. And then on the front end, this showing that this is the default for the front end, which means that's that blue one that we're taking a look at right now. So if I want to just click on that default for the front end, here it is. If I want to click on that, and it will actually bring me to the back end for that template. I'm able to edit that template style directly from here. Now, I, I can check the, change the wrapper styles, the wrapper uh, large styles, percentage actually, change the logo from here, and the name of the site, and also the site description. As you can see, the logo is right here, and the site description is right here. If I wanted to change that, I will simply change this content in here. And of course, you want to add your site name here also as well. But this is how you change the logo and then the site description. Now, I don't want to get into that just yet because I do want to create another tutorial for that. However, I'm actually just going to go down to template color and then just change that template color. And then I'm going to click save. And that's going to change it on the front end here. As you can see now, of course, it's a new color based on whatever I chose here. That's one way to actually change the temp template anyway. And I'm going to close this out. In case I wanted to change it another way, I can actually click here to go to templates. And then once I go to templates, I'm able to go down, scroll down to the template that I actually want right now. And that's the one that's on the front end, which is this one. So I can click on this. And then I can edit this page as uh, much as I want, actually. I can... Uh, click here and go to edit the HTML for the website and this will just allow me to edit these changes and change the module positions if I don't like where they are you can make a lot of changes here now of course your footers here so if you want to add something different at the footer change some module positions as I mentioned uh, there's a lot you can do from the HTML section now one downfall of the HTML section is you actually don't want to make too many changes or delete anything that you can't uh, that you don't have a backup copy of because what happens is if you end up deleting that, you cannot, there is no undo button with this. So uh, what I mean is if I deleted just the entire footer, but I wanted to add it again later, I can't do it unless I had that original code or, of course, I had to put my own coding in there. So you don't want to mess with this section too much if you don't have to. Now, of course, let me just go back here. Now, of course, you can also edit the CSS. You can What that means is you can edit the colors of the website, the color of the templates, uh, the color of the backgrounds, and many other things you can add here, uh, banners and whatnot. You can just change the, uh, pretty much edit your entire template from the CSS style sheet. So that's what you're looking at. That is how you edit your template. Uh, there's many different ways to do it. Uh, you can also go into the FTP of your website and find these files here, and you can uh, edit it that way if you chose to. However, from the Joomla website back in administration portion, that is how you edit your template.